and, and uh, when the questions are raised, any member of the bar who was actively participating in the discussion can certainly answer it. And I did not do anything wrong. And I'm sorry, I was unfairly treated. That's a different story. Now, that's a different story. Let me come, in, come, come into the case. Make your submission. No, make, make, come, into, come into the state. Now, I'm amazed by the kind of discussions which has been going on here. We have been conducting a criminal trial. We are going to the niceties. We have called the CBI. But solicit what kind of discussions which have been going on. The issue is, you ask a common man, a man in the street, there is an examination leak. I came on my petition, I said only one thing. There has been a leak. A leak has been is, if it happened, then there is no alternative. There is no alternative than a retest. It certainly leaves inconvenience. Certainly. And only means, only thing that can be th thought of is how to reduce inconvenience. And I made a suggestion, which my friend also uh, adopted, that this test be conducted as a, a need preliminary examination. 13 lakh students are qualified. And that, that be, they be taken for the final examination. And this, this is an administrative issue. Today, because of PAS, etc., we treat many things which are in the realm of falling in the ex exclusive realm of governance into the court. And my Lord, therefore, therefore this, is a, this is something the government did a great injustice to the court. The government, is a, it was a, their problem. It, it was a, a gover issue of a governance. And the government, government very conveniently, very conveniently did not raise the maintainability of these petitions. Allowed, the, allowed questions, the detailed arguments to be made for days and days. And they are, they are literally shunning away from their responsibility. There is a government. This is, a, this is an issue concerning lakhs of people. It is a call of the minister. It is a call of the government. And the government has failed to... I'm not an anti-BJP man. In fact, I supported BJP. I, 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 I advocated for voting for BJP. I should have, but what happened today? This is something utterly... I'm not using a very strong expression. Are unacceptable. The government of the day is accountable to the people. When your lordship, I always say, when your lordship takes a decision, my lord, that only binds the parties before you. When a parliament takes a decision, we are all in, we are all present in the parliament, and we are symbolically present in the parliament. It binds all of us. In the last couple of years, the governance, what the parliament ought to do, what the government ought to do, it is being the courts are forced to do. Courts are forced to do. Therefore, my lord, the question today is, the question today is, is what is the given situation, what is to be done? Admittedly, there is a leak. And this leaves no option than to cancel the examination as rightly Justice, uh, Justice Vikramna, Justice Vikramna has said, 0 0.00 percent doubt examination has to be cancelled. And that is the only option. This is a matter which should have been concluded in 20 minutes. And good that we spend a good lot of time. I'm no quarrel about it. And therefore, and my advice to the court is that court should not enter into the domain of the executive. Let the government do its job. Let the government answer to the people. The parliament is going on. Session is going on. The very neat issue is before the parliament. And here is a solicitor general. He doesn't even oppose. I'm for the petitioner. I'm, I'm strongly advocating the cancellation of this examination. Still, I said, as a matter of principle, a lawyer has to speak about the fundamental constitutional principle. A fundamental constitutional principle is that these are our administrative issues. And even assuming that the government, at least the matter should have been delegated to the government. Government should have taken, directed to issue, take a decision. And the government, if uh, supposing that the government has taken a decision after hearing both of us, parties affected, not, not only those who are asking for cancellation of the examination, but also those who are asking for non-cancellation of the examination because they are, they are the ones who stand to benefit by the results. The, both parties, to the extent possible, unlike a court, the government is under no obligation to hear everybody. That, because the government represents the people and therefore no obligation to hear everybody. But court, when a court it says it's a matter, it, it is under a duty to my lords, listen to everybody. Otherwise, my lord, that Rasindo, Raleo, Sakta, Altori, Nazari, non debate Court has no jurisdiction to bind anybody who is not before it. So the, having this fundamental principle being stated, 
and whenever every every pal comes before this court this court should certainly address to itself the people affected are not here and we are we don't represent the people of this country and and these issues concerning the public at large cannot be decided behind the back of them these proceedings are not in uh, representative proceedings these are proceedings in my case uh, 16 with the students who are affected by it the formula when this case came the only option is to throw the ball to back to the government's court and the government to take a call uh, on the question of cancellation and the government would have done it in moments time it wouldn't have been able to justify this this examination not even one moment the government would have come with the conclusion the, the decision to cancel it forthwith and the government conveniently very conveniently saying that is a non non adjudicatory the solicitor general says non adjudicatory litigation what is that non adjudicatory there is nothing like non adjudicatory court's job is to decide disputes uh, court's duty is to de decide dispute questions of fact and apply the law if the issues are non non, -adjud non adjudicatory there is nothing it is administrative and my lord i conclude by saying one word my lord i forgive your lordship for all the insult to me and my lord, humiliation i forgive your lordship lord forgive them for the not for they not know what they are doing I, for, I have nothing in my mind i have the greatest of regard for your lordships and lordship padiwala also i have the greatest of regard though i was insulted i don't keep, keep anything in my mind but my lord this this need examination has to be cancelled forthwith it cannot be delayed one minute because precious time of the students are lost and a fresh examination has to be conducted forthwith and it is for the, the government to decide whether it has to be for the 13 lakh students who was selected or it has to be for a lesser number and these are areas where the court should step in because what is governing the, the what is of administration the but those in governance alone come to know about it somebody said it's a certainly new neat is a very loosely conducted all outsourced but that is true but in in a governance outsourcing is necessary without which no government can function everything the need department cannot do it so most of the things which my friend hoda and Sajiv, sanjay Khadge argued i with respect i disagree with that and only my submission is this is an issue which will turn to the government's court let them decide let them decide let the parliament is going let them answer to the parliament and let them not shirk their responsibility and pour, uh, throw all public issues to the court's domain because i say so because average time which is which a which an ordinary litigant who comes for a grievances is 93 seconds when i come to your lordship for a slp it is dismissed in 93 seconds and i had a recent incident where my slp was dismissed even 60 seconds so therefore we have to revisit it the pa business has to be discouraged and only petitions here at least affected parties are there my petition is not pal my petition is somebody who is seeking declaration of their fundamental rights and my lord i conclude the research has to be cancelled examination has to be recontested greatly obliged just two minutes please. your lordships